This giant box is full of Switch games worth over $10,000. I need the contents verified so I can pay my man Video James that sent them to me, but Sky Guy? Yeah. I gotta leave, so can you, you got, you got this? But here we have it, $6,000, 50 pounds, almost 200 sealed Switch games. This is packed really well, my goodness. James, thank you very much. What did he do? Holy cow, how many of these little bricks do we have? Let's get out all the bricks, count them up, and go from there. All right, so we have like 20... Cheetos? Okay, so we have a bunch of special edition type stuff here in this special wrapping. I think we're gonna save that yeah. for last because those are super cool. But Alex, here's what we're gonna do. You and me, we're going yeah. to draft style all of these games. Whoever has the most expensive bag wins the round. Blind picking. Okay, I'm, I'm doing that one. Okay, I'll, I'll do this one. I'll grab this, this. Oh yeah, that's good. That's good. This one. Oh, did you hear that? <laughs> this is how it's gonna work. Here, I have a list of every single game and their values printed out. Thank you, James, again. But Chase isn't here at the moment, so we need to process through everything as quickly as possible. One, to make sure that everything's here, but two, the winner of this competition, round for round, whoever has the most valuable games is going to keep one without Chase knowing. So, we have to do this before he gets back, which he'll be here uh, soon. Here's how it's gonna work. I'm gonna take a bag, Alex is gonna take a bag, we're gonna open it up, we're gonna value the games, and then we're gonna display all of Alex's games and all of my games so you can see overall who's winning. Winner of the most rounds gets the game. Oh, oh baby. my goodness. They're all in collector's cases. All of these oh my gosh. are sealed. I didn't even realize that until now. And Holy in God. collector's cases. So I have Monster Crown, Streets of Rage 4 Special Edition. A lot of these are special edition. Most of these are US games. Some of them are PAL, some of them are Japanese. Omar Amori, oh. TMNT Shredder's Revenge, Korg Gadget for Switch. So I have Blaster Master Zero 3, Broken Age, Wonder Boy Collection, oh. the anniversary collection. <laughs> that looks really good. I don't even know how to say that. Cyvar, Cyvariar Delta. I'm gonna guess that's worth something. Something. Trials of Mania. So you got seven games. I had eight in mind, so that's a little oh, bit of an advantage shoot. I have. But now we're gonna go through this sheet, add it up. My eight games are in. My seven games are as well. My total value was 359 and 57 cents. My total was 361 and 95 cents. Stop times. it, what? Two dollars difference. Let's go, I got eight games this time, boy. Shut up. We won't read all of these for the entire video. Here's here's what I have. Some really solid stuff. Rolling Gunner, Fortnite with the Joker. I got Fortnite too. Fortnite again. You got Fortnite. Anime Legends, let's go. <laughs> Shantae Half Genie Hero. Shantae games are good. I'm interested by this one. G.I. Joe Gold Edition. Very nice. Uh, oh, Capcom Belt Action Collection. That looks like a Japanese title, because I can't read that. Ninth Dawn. The third, Shadow of Your That's got a that's got a cool look to it. Yeah, that's got a got an expensive look to it. I didn't do too hot. Ha! <laughs> I did. Four hundred and thirteen dollars and three hundred one twenty one. One penny. I win that round. Eighty dollar average or no fifty dollar average price on all these. Time spinner is actually really good. Eighty six bucks. Next set of games. I have another Shantae. Limited oh, run, shoot. let's see. I don't even know how to say that. A Taylor Dust Trilogy Deluxe Pack. Hockey and Rocky by Taito. <laughs> Mama Dora. I don't know about this one. I'm feeling pretty confident in these two. All right, so let's just put up our calculators together. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> what? Yep. High oh 76, 36. These games are worth like over $300 together. I had a lot of just really solid 40, 30, $50 games sealed. Travis Strikes again, 54 bucks. All right, round four. Let us know in the comments what your favorite Switch game is. I'm curious what you think. One, two. Eight again. I got eight again. You just got chipped on the first I round. I did, that really, sucks. for real. I see limited run here. Dust and Elysian Tale. Astaline, Tears of the Earth. Um, 
Skylar, blur all of these. <laughs> I don't think I can show any of these. I don't know, I have a bunch of like anime type titles which are usually pretty good. I have a little bit of everything. One, two, three. 583, baby, get wrecked. <laughs> That'd be my last one. This is the most expensive round. Yeah, this is a thousand dollar round. Jeez, oh, Pete. All of these games. Very good. Uh, East Asia Saw, I guess be on the lookout for that. All of those titles are numbered like 23, 24, 21, 13, 15, 3, 5. So I wonder if we have a full set of those. Two, two. Round five. I definitely just got gypped on that first round. I have eight again. <laughs> I have eight as well. Brigandine. What the heck? Chicken! <gasps> chicken! Chicken, just chicken the just, game? Just chicken. Don Maku Unlimited 3. Chris Star. Outlast 2. Lint Hook. Super Meat Boy. <gasps> Featuring okay. Thanos. I'm willing to bet that I'll win this round. <laughs> I'll win this round. <laughs> oh, yeah? How about this? You take one game of mine, I'll take one game of yours. Chooser's choice. Oh, oh crap, he chose Shantae. All right, let me see. Oh, I'm picking Skylander's Imaginators. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Skylar, hurry up. One, two, seven hundred eleven dollars. <laughs> yeah. What? The new most expensive round. One hundred thirty-three or something. One hundred thirty-six, something like that. Open. This is not sealed, so we will have to go through our sheet and look at that. Another like eighty-dollar game, hundred-dollar game, or no? I think both of these were over hundred-dollar games. All of these were super, super. So good. I grabbed the wrong Shantae. Yeah, you grabbed. Well, no, this one wasn't. It was. They're pretty similar, actually. Okay. But. <laughs> Round six. Oh no! 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 I only have three items. <laughs> I got Wonder what? Boy, Asha in the mon in Monster World, Base Warlord Organ Trading Simulator. What? <laughs> Show that one. What in the world? It's a, it's a heart. Postal Redux, Balan Wonder World. Can't tell you what this is called because it's completely Japanese, so I don't know how I'm going to find it. Eternal Radiance, Paradise Killer, again from one print. And finally, Neo Cab. But also very cool because they all come with little charms and stuff. I think I uh, did pretty well with these three games. <laughs> 372, 73. Right. Well, uh, you doubled my, you so doubled this helps, my price. This helps me back out. <laughs> Round, Round seven. seven. Oh. <laughs> Weekly. <laughs> Connect Tank. Ooh, Mega Man Zero ZX. Tillier Sophie 2. Ooh, Grenadia. Say that again. How do you say it? Grandia. <laughs> this guy. <gasps> Carrion. Quake. Bakugan. Ruin Factory 5. Sakuna of Rice and Ruin. Yeah. Layer of the Clockwork God. Shadowverse. Monster Harvest and Stellar Interface. A Girl Who Chants About Love and Love... What on earth? Is that the name? A Girl Who Chants Love at the Bounds of This World 2. What, what is that? Two Uno? That game. There's no way I'm beating you this round. Matt, who do you think won? Uh, you. Me! Dang it, <laughs> by $100. Round eight. Wow. Capcom Fighting Collection. Street Fighter 2, the final challenge. A Magical High School Girl. Okay. Two Point Hospital. Deed Lit and Wonderful Labyrinth. Tactics Ogre Reborn. Turtles Cowabunga, man. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure All-Star Battle. Yeah, but forget JoJo, because we have uh, Captain Subasa. Yeah, but what about Mad Rat Dead? Monarch Deluxe Edition. Marietta, Mary... Marietta Boy? Marietta Boy? Marietta Boy. Margarita Boy. What'd you get? What'd you get? What'd you get? I got good games. I would just like to point out how... Oh, you'd think that the title is... Wonder Labyrinth, because it starts with a W. But no, if you look real close, it says Deedlit in Wonder Labyrinth. But no, that's not the title of the game either. It's Record of Lodas War Deedlit in Wonder Labyrinth. Stop. Look how dumb that is. Three, two, one. <gasps> Let's go. Oh, gosh, ah, that was close. Yeah. I think my only highlight, this one was $78. Well, that means five rounds for Alex and three for me now. All right, and uh, thank you for all of our Australian viewers. Uh, we'll, we'll do this one upside down for you. That way you guys can see it. There we go. That should be better.
Okay, so this is taking a lot longer than expected and Chase Definitely. is going to be here soon. So we're gonna kind of clean up all of this first and just continue tomorrow. So let's grab round nine and we'll start it right now. Oh boy. Oh, I have seven games, dang it. Rogue Heroes, Diablo, Arcvale, Code of Princess EX, Spicy Dungeons, that one actually looks pretty fun. Yuri Kill, Blood Roots, Undernaught's Labyrinth of Yumi, Yomi. Horus, the Lego character. I, I don't know, there's a bunch more. This entire collection is close to $11,000. So we've gone through a lot of games so far. Uh, woo. Numbers are in, three, two, one, boom. Hey. Oh, it was so close, Let's I was go. feeling so good. I had an $80 game. Don't remember which one it was, but uh, Rogue Heroes was pretty good. And uh, I had oh, one. I was literally just, if I had one more game, I would have won. Code of Princess was my best one at 125. It was actually this one, Darksiders, because it was a misprint. So that is six rounds to Al Pal, only three to me. That sucks. I am losing by like this much every time. So you need to win the next three. Oh my gosh, I do. <laughs> Round 10. Oh, no. this could either be really good or really bad. And don't forget, we still have all the special editions that we might draft pick for. I don't know. All of these are limited run. And I have a Pokemon Diamond and Pearl double pack. I have four games from East Asia Soft. Well, but do you have Battle Princess Madeline? Don't Nobody think so. Nobody has Trigger Witch. Oh yeah, well I have the Dark Crystal Age of the... Re Age of the Resistance Tactics. Ghost Blade. Oh yeah, well what about Double Dragon Neon? Just Ghost. Okay, well Doom 64, you gotta Not love it. Not showing that one at all. Zeo <laughs> Trippner. Oh yeah, well I have Castlevania, hmm. Doom, uh, some of these are definitely not. Curse of the Moon number two. Quake, I'm pretty sure I got both Dooms and both Quakes. Okay, so Sky Guy. Yes. I, right now, after looking at your games, I'll give you an opportunity to trade for one of mine. You want to or no? I'm feeling pretty good. All of these are limited run and average like $60, so. Okay. All right, fine. Three, fine. one. Let's hey! go! Yeah, my, uh, the Pokemon double pack ended up being the most. 109 sealed, which is actually kind of interesting because for a long time sealed, they were still 120, so. <laughs> Round 11, six to four. I need to win these next two for sure. I, okay. I just want it to be a pure surprise. Okay. I don't know, bro. I, I think I think I had it. I, dude, I can guarantee you I have one game that'll blow all of yours out of the water and I have two of those. Okay. Okay, we'll see. Okay, we'll see. Fine, maybe we will. <laughs> Honestly, this is my best round yet. Dude, this is, this might be my best round yet. I, I am feeling really good about these. Are you? I, I, I am, yeah. One of my games was worth over $200. Huh? And I had two of them. Huh? <laughs> Three, two, one, seven hundred and eleven. It was not one of my best rounds. The Liar Princess and the Blind Prince. $250 almost. And guess what? Two of them. So that was most of your round. That was most of my round. Like, Troll and I was $16. Uh, these ones were, were pretty decent. Death's Gambit and Ruby. I didn't have anything spectacular. I mean, some of them were okay. But... Yeah. Okay, if we, if we tie, both. whoever has the highest value is gonna pick what special editions they want first. <laughs> round 12, final round. Got some bubble wrap. Oh. That's looking good. This is an interesting mix Ooh, here. I... Part of me wants to swap, but I don't think I should. I don't know. There's some that look really, really good, and then there's some that look like, like Zeo Drifter. I feel like that's 20 bucks. Sword of Rewind. That might be pretty good. Book of Demons. Brands of Bury. I don't know. I mean, Fatal 12. There we go. We'll see what happens. All right, Al Pal, how are you feeling? Um, it was a decent round. Decent round? Yeah, I'm not feeling too good. You got some super rare games, which is like the PAL version of Limited Run. Yeah, unfortunately they're not priced super rare. Okay, and these ones are all pretty decent. This one being my best one. How about this? If you can guess the price of this game, I'll add it 
to your pile. You'll add it to my pile? Uh -huh. Do I get a range? I'm, I'll give you a $3 buffer. A $3 buffer? All right, fine, Five, $5 buffer. 70. All right, still mine. Ready, here's the reveal. Boom, 516. Oh, you would have won if you would have got it. I thought that I was still gonna win even if I, even if I did that for you. So it is now six to six. Wait, right? Oh yeah. Six oh, so six. it just tied us. Okay, okay, I didn't lose. So we're gonna see who has the Ooh. most value between both of us. And that's gonna be the tiebreaker on who gets to pick collector's edition. All right, here it is. The total. It's on! Okay, we're going hoods too. Three. Wait, wait, wait. Let me know in the comments. Who do you think is going to win? And also, for the loser, come up with a punishment and we can try and incorporate it in the next oh, challenge. no. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, Let's go. No. Okay. So now. No. But we still have to look at the cool special editions and I'm just going to pick two that I like and two that you like oh, and we'll see, okay. we'll see what we do. So after briefly looking at all of these special editions, we have a bunch here. Even if I pick the worst stuff and Alex picks the best, I still win. So instead what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take these open and look at them together, do a little unboxing, yeah? Let's do it. All right, so first up, we're going to do this one right here. There's two of them. And this is Scott Pilgrim versus the world, the game, the retro edition. So it's in like a, a super cool SNES box, um, limited run. And I think this is around $130. So super cool, super fresh. Look how clean they kept that. And then next is Hyperlight Drifter Special Edition. Let's look at our let's look at our list actually for that one. Hyperlight Drifter sealed in this condition, $85 according to price charting. All right, Alpha. All right, we're gonna see what's in here. Oh, this one. Okay. It's a little more bubble wrap. Let us know what your favorite game has been so far, and let us know which of these special editions you like. Oh, look super at that. Super Mario Odyssey. The big Bones. box. Is Bones that sealed? Guide. Uh, yes, it is sealed. Very nice. This is worth $150. That's solid. All right, the next All one. Right, the next one. Ministry of Broadcast. Unfortunately, it's only worth $35. Oh, okay. That's still pretty so, cool. Yeah, but when you put it up next to this, it's... <laughs> when it's five times the price. Yeah, not as. <laughs> and then we have Pokemon Sword and Shield, the double pack, including the download for Dynamax Crystals. I don't know if he has this variant, but I know Chase has this sealed. Big old boy. Big old boy. Ooh. Ooh. I think these are the same thing, so oh, okay. you actually don't get to open up. Oh, that's all right. Uh, this is the Metroid oh, Dread Special Edition. Oh my gosh. This includes the game, steelbook, art book, and art cards, which is super sweet. Choosing the little guy, huh? I'm gonna do this one because I thought Chase was here. Okay. He could show up any minute. Yes, he could. Uh, uh, this is the sealed Pokemon Let's Go Pokeball Plus edition. Let's it's go, Eevee. Should we show the Pokemon Pursuit Room real quick? Do I we wonder want if it? we have this. Okay, oh. Let's go look. Oh. You guys are getting a little peek. Okay. Oh. This is, oh. He doesn't have it. Oh. Okay. You know what? I think for the one that I'm going to keep. I'm actually not going to keep it. What I'm going to do, because I, I already have this game and I don't want the big box version. I'll actually take this, because I've, I've won. I'm gonna take this and put it in Chase's collection and just see how long it takes for him to notice. Do it. I, I think that's only fair. He paid for the collection. We're just having fun going through it. Would you just look at that? Yeah, I wonder how long it'll take him. So this is over $10,000 in Switch games, minus the special editions. We paid $6,000 for it. We had a lot of fun unboxing it. I beat you in a challenge. You Watch this video right here, because YouTube thinks you're gonna love it.